Welcome back. You may remember a couple of months ago we introduced you to this man and his magnificent beard. This is Madison Rowley. He has multiple world titles for this champion beard and you are preparing to cut some of it off for charity, which makes me nervous to say. Madison, how are you feeling about it? Uh, it's a couple weeks away, right? Hypothetically? It is hypothetically, beginning of December. It's, uh, it's gonna be a big change. Yeah. yeah, now do you know what style you're cutting in it, it into yet? Or do you know but the people do not know? Not yet. <gasps> Still tabulating scores. The last time I checked, the Hungarian mustache was in the lead. Sweet. Which is like a solid, big handlebar mustache. Because you would think, okay, it's No Shave November, why would you be talking about shaving a beard at this time of year? It's not sensitive to the beard people out there. But here's how you can help decide what Madison does with this beard. You decided to cut for the cause, you're calling it. So you started a GoFundMe and you're Correct. raising money for a nonprofit called Shatterproof. Yes. And that organization is helping to fight against opioid addiction and the whole crisis. Indeed. Yes. Yep. So you're trying to raise $10,000 and people, if they donate, can vote on what style your yeah. face will have next. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. Oh my gosh, that's yep. amazing. So people can still go so, donate right now. Yeah. Oh, no, they should. Say. No, <laughs> they, they should. They should, should donate. donate. You right can now. multitask. You're watching you can, on your TV. You, you know your phone is out right now. Choose the fate of my beard. So you've been growing this beard. The number one question when we went out and did the last segment, which is, by yep. the way, the most viewed video on YouTube that we have ever created. It's almost at 800,000 views when I checked it earlier. Holy we went out. Moly. I know. I know. I can't believe it. And I've only watched it at like a thousand. So a lot of other people on also different have. computers. Right. Exactly. Like, <laughs> Just a thousand like. different IP addresses. But yep. the number one question that we got was the same as the number one question you say you always get, which is how long have you been growing your beard? Right. Which is six years? Yeah, about six, almost six and a half now, I think. Wow. Six years, four months. That's amazing. Yeah. And then most of the other questions were like, how do you do this with your beard? How do you kiss someone? How do you eat a bowl of ramen? And you somehow, I mean, you're not like struggling. You have gone through life for the last over six years Practice. with this beard and yeah. you've gotten good at all these things? Decently. I mean, it's, <laughs> I definitely eat a lot slower than other people. I'm like, people are done and I'm halfway through, but um, I'm You're used just to that. savoring things. Yes. Enjoying exactly. it more than those people eating it too fast. Yeah, trying not to floss my teeth with my hair. <laughs> is, that's the ideal. I mean, life hack. I don't know. Why not? So, yeah. okay, we had our friends at Bokey Bowl brought you this beautiful bowl of ramen because a lot of people on the internet wanted to know how you need a bowl of ramen mm. with this. You said some of the difficult things you have to do are eat an ice cream cone or right. drink something out of a pint glass or mm -hmm. have a sandwich. Um, so we have a beer from Stickman Brewing. We were at their pop-up earlier. You just saw that in the previous segment. And uh, I figured this would be good for this segment because it's not only pink, but it's called Socks and Sandals. So you got beards. They're very Portland. Socks, Socks and, and Sandals. sandals. Yeah. Also very Portland. Which, uh, where would you like to start, Madison, to show us your wow. professional well, uh, beard eating? In the segment I'm calling Will It Beard. Will it, can you do it? I don't know. Stay can tuned. I do it? I think so. <laughs> where should we start? Uh, I, I like that I don't have a beard, so I don't even ice have cream. to pretend that I'm I playing. think the ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah, before it gets too melty and yes, it's definitely. A, a disaster. So okay, so here's first this beautiful first. ice cream. I have to. Oh, I do yes. have to tie it up. I thought this was going to happen, and I was this hoping does this would have happen. To happen. At what point? Like, how long was your beard when you discovered that you could and should tie it up? Uh, wow, <laughs> it was probably about a year and a half ago. I realized I could knot it and bun it up, and then it's like. Ready, That's amazing. Ready for action. It's like action. a bun and a braid all at the same <laughs> yeah, time. That's impressive. Yeah, it's the original man bun. Seriously. <laughs> Taking man buns to a whole nother level. Yep. Okay, so then you get your ice cream. Okay, so this is a no-go. I can't. No. Nope. Obviously, there's like a wall a of, of hair. Mm -hmm. Spoon is crucial oh. if I want to eat a cone. Yeah. Usually, I go for the bowl yeah, or the cup. Me too, but, and I don't even have a beard. You know, Just so like you that. get a good scoop of oh. ice cream. It's okay, it didn't the get in the trick, beard, just got on the table. Right, the other trick, flip the spoon over in your mouth. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, while it's there. Mm-hmm. Wow. Otherwise, <laughs> your mustache is raking the rem remainder that, off There's the nothing on there. I have a closed oh. view. Nothing there. Wow. It's not, not too bad. Okay, well, I want to let you keep eating the ice cream, but I feel like we should move on to another one. Um, right, the sandwich is the first one you told me about. Oh, yeah. And I was kind of shocked and 
I don't know if I was disgusted or just appalled or just very surprised as to the way you eat a sandwich. Most people, you'd say, you're going to cut a sandwich in half? You cut it that way, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's, there's a reason I always carry a pocket knife <laughs> on me. Um, very useful tool. I have to cut sandwiches in oh, just little thin little slices, strips. <laughs> that like I love hors d'oeuvre spreads at weddings. <laughs> That's the best. But this is my best option here. Okay. Something small. Okay. Just perfect, then like mouth-sized. Need two right? hands. Got to part the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that mm. was amazing! Excellent, close-up shot on the sandwich. Okay, we still have two mm -hmm. more things to get to. We're gonna take a quick break while you continue chewing that sandwich and we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we are back here with Madison Rowley and Bokey Bowl brought us this ramen, which I would think would be impossible to eat with a beard like yours, Madison, even when you it's tied it up so beautifully. So where do you start here? Uh, <laughs> just like, no, I'm... Uh, oh, okay, I thought that, okay, maybe. If we're going chopsticks, mm -hmm. which is an extra challenge, I can, <laughs> I can do it, though. Um, oh, look at the bamboo basically, shoots in there, so all the things. The main <laughs> trick, or the main challenge, is the noodles themselves, because uh -huh. they like to dangle and get intertwined with the hair. Okay, well, you keep strategizing yep. with the noodles, get on the chopsticks, we're going to remind you. You can go to GoFundMe.com and search Cut for the Cause to donate, and we're going to keep eating here with Madison and figure out how he drinks this beer as well. Have a great night. Go for it. Okay, so <laughs> parallel to the table. <laughs> oh yeah, so you got you do have to have two hands for that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, not even a drop on. Mm. That was impressive. Where? Feel weird getting in your space, just closely examining your beard after each thing you eat here. But at the same time, oh, it's delicious. The people need my judging. Wonderful. So, wow, that oh. went so fast. Zach, you were impressed behind the camera. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, is ramen like? Would you go out and get ramen, actually, or, or are there some things you just? It's too much work. No, honestly, I do eat ramen quite a bit, <laughs> um, especially this time of year. It's perfect. It's so good. The yeah. one thing I do not eat or haven't are uh, s'mores. Oh, wait, you haven't? We did think about getting a s'more, mm -hmm. but it just, I don't yeah, know. It's, man, that is a disaster. Once you have your beard, some of it gone, you can eat them some more. Maybe, some more. no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> someone some laughed, someone forever. was very nice to me. Okay, last but not least, you said, and I wouldn't have even thought of this one, drinking out of a pint glass would be difficult. So you have your delicious Portland socks and it sandals is. from Stickman Brewing. So, Where do you, we don't have any straws for you. No. Would it normally involve a straw? I mean, sometimes you can use a straw. <laughs> it's weird with beer, drinking oh, it with yeah. a straw. I would think so. Just burp factory, you know. <laughs> um, but the main trick with the pint glass is tilt your head back and what? pour it in instead of the normal drinking oh. maneuver where you're like this and uh -huh. Dumping it in your face, you actually have to tilt the head back, but also adjust the mustache. And also not choke. Side. I feel like yeah. you're just going to pour like... it. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Nothing anywhere. Yeah. How do you Spotless. do this, sir? Dry. This is, I mean, you've had six years mm. of practice with the beard. And on December 3rd, on Giving Tuesday, you got to tune into Tonight with Cassidy to see some of it get shaved off. I know. What shape will it take? I have no idea. I don't know. People, this is the most suspenseful tease we may have ever given anyone. And of course, go donate to the Cut for the Cause Challenge. And the, pro the proceeds go to wonderful nonprofit Shatterproof. Thank you so much, Madison. That was Thank amazing. You. I would have made more of a mess eating all these things without any beard in the way or anything. Great. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was impressive. For sure. Mm. Is it good ramen? It actually is good. <laughs> <laughs>